Hey guys, this is Brady from Lancota. What we're going to show you today is how to do a few preliminary things on your unloading auger clutch system before you start going into the fall harvest. One of the things you want to check is make sure you always have at least 12 volts of power right at the clutch. You should have 12 volts of power at low idle and you're probably going to have somewhere between 13 and 14 at high idle. Take a voltmeter and just check both plugs on both clutches. If you have less than 12 volts of power, your clutches will not connect good enough and they will start to slip and they will fail. To check for 12 volts, you got to have somebody sitting in the seat of the combine, the unloading auger out, push the unloading auger button, and after our four seconds time delay, you should have your voltage here. Be super careful though, because your chains and everything will be moving. Make sure not to get your clothing or your hand or your arm stuck in there. One little secret when you're doing primarily high moisture corn is you want to change the cross auger covers up in your grain tank. Everybody thinks you need to put them in the very bottom hole on both sides. That's actually not what you want to do with the clutch kit. On the far side or the tank loading side, put the shield in the bottom hole. On the unloading side, closest to the clutches, put the shield in the top hole. This will allow the my moisture grain to not compact so much when it gets over to the unloading auger. big thing you got to remember guys is you want to ground to the battery switch and it's got to be the inside pole so when your switch is off you're not still grounded to the battery through the other side so make sure that you're grounding through the shutoff side of the negative post of the battery switch lots of guys are grounding right to the frame on bolts like those ones up there that is a not a sufficient ground and it is causing trouble. So make sure that you ground right to the battery switch. If you ground to the, the battery side of the switch, you're going to have uh, your lights show up when you shut your switch off and it's going to drain your battery even though you have your switch off. So make sure you're on the keyed side of the negative switch. At the beginning of every combine season, you want to reburnish your clutches. Uh, you can do this by starting up your unloading system and running your foot pedal multiple times. We suggest 10 to 20 times. And what this will do is it'll clean off any rust or debris that may have gotten onto your clutch mating surfaces over the winter. <laughs> 